Hello everyone, I am Yuta Akiyama. This time, it'll show you animate anyone which can make images dance. It's been popular since the end of last year. It has been a trending topic since the start of last year, but until now it was only available on the introduction page and couldn't be used. However, the reproduction and implementation of Animate Anyone has finally been completed, and now it can be used to create moving images. Earlier, I introduced Magic Animate, a tool that uses AI technology to create videos from still images. While Magic Animate was developed by a company from TikTok, Animate Anyone is a tool created by a Chinese IT company called Alibaba. Let's take a closer look at what's inside. The animation source code has not been made public yet, and there is currently no platform to use it on. So, this time it'll be using Animate Anyone from this page. We can achieve this by replicating and applying Animate Anyone. Just like Magic Animate, which I introduced earlier, this one also uses motion synthesis to move still images. However, Animate Anyone seems to be a tool that animates using skeletal videos, just like a human being. As you can see, there are various options available. There are demo videos available, and you can see how accurate the movements are while maintaining consistency. You can also see the accuracy of the original video's movements, including hair and clothing. So, I am going to actually move Animate Anyone. By clicking here, you can control it from the Hugging Face demo page. However, sometimes the movement can be quite slow, so this time it'll be using Google Collab. You can find the Google Collab link in the summary section and run it from there. Click on the link in the summary section and open it in Google Collab. You can simply run it by clicking on the play button here. Let's run it. The initial setup for Animate Anyone is done and the URL for this running screen has been displayed. Please click this fabric URL. When you click on it, a screen like this will pop up and start running. No changes needed, the current translation is already clear and modern. Next up, it'll be uploading a motion synthesis. But if you scroll down, you'll find an example, so it'll just use that one. To use this motion synthesis, just click here. No change is needed, the translation is already contextual and modern. This is what I am going to use this time. It looks like this. If you use the example, the reference image will be updated, so it'll upload it again. Next, I want to adjust the video's length and size. This time, I want to use the portrait image size, so it'll set the width to 512 and the height to 768. Please make sure the video size matches this. Motion Capture Video Be careful not to accidentally change the size of this reference image. Next, it'll set the video length to 120, which is the longest duration for this one. The video will be 4 seconds long, so I set the length to 120. The original length was 24, which would have made it a 0.8 second video. So now it'll actually click on animate. Yep, the processing is done now. This time, I made a 4 second video with a length of 120, which took around 26 minutes. It sure took a while, huh? If you're planning to make a video, it's a good idea to preview a shorter version first to see how it turns out before making the full-length one. Yep, this is the final video. Yes, here it is. Yeah. Can you clearly see the movements? When you watch the original video, the AI recognizes that the lower part of the knee is missing and adds it, even if it's not visible in the image. If you take a closer look at their clothes and hair, you'll notice that their movements are quite natural. However, the face still looks a bit distorted, so I believe it's still at a practical level. I made this using other images and motion synthesis videos, but the face still looks a bit distorted. By the way, the distorted face can be corrected using Stable Diffusion. This video was fixed with Stable Diffusion. This is a face correction technique using a control net that only uses reference images. It might be a bit clumsy, so if you have any suggestions, 
feel free to drop them in the comments. Hey guys, how did you like the video? If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any thoughts or feedback, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.